Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, here we go. G9 and Gentle Flame. So G9 is on the bottom. I don't know if he's seen, uh, seen this yet. And then Gentle Flame is the PKCS. This is an interesting strat. Um Well Let's let's just see how gentle deals with this um, and then and then, uh, might be a DQ. Next, uh, next round. This is interesting. Yeah, he's getting some food, that's what he's doing. Alright, gentle, just pull out a fucking Corbian or something. End him. End him rightly. Prince, just just go and play for honor. Just go to the superior game. Honestly, if G9 takes this, that would be pretty interesting. It's actually not a bad strategy. If he can, uh... <laughs> he's got the life lead right now. Does that do no chip damage? This is, uh, this is smart. That's one Ashen Estes by G9. I get it. This is in the rules right now. Gentle, I can't do anything. So, uh, three hits from Gentle Flame. G9's coming in. He's chasing. Swapping out and shit, it's going back to uh, door strat. So there's one purse. Yeah, that actually does it. I didn't know that. What? That it doesn't, uh, he can't chip through with the weapon art on that. When G9 does that. Two hits from Gentle Flame. There's so uh, that's two Ashen by G9, one Ashen by Gentle Flame, and one Purrs by Gentle Flame. Or Gentle. Oh, G9, this is his strat all along. He wanted to get into red tier stone range. Or is he in? Now, now he's gonna start. One hit, two hits. All right, here we go, round two. So Gentle's up 1-0. So G9 is on the, well, he's the lap with the uh, Gundir, and then Gentle is the PKCS. Might be smart to just uh, change the rounds to best of... 
consists of a uh, five at this point. I don't know if they're. Gina Let's get through oh. this and then we'll talk about what's next. So big yeah. damage from G9. Is that is that cool, Castle? Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll let's let's get through this, and then we'll be in round two, and we'll adjust it going into round two. Isn't this this is technically round two though, isn't it? No, we're in round one, and still this is the no, we are in round two. Sorry, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want to do? I'm thinking, especially with the way that a lot of people are uh, playing right now. Might be best to just go best of uh, just like first to three instead of first to four. So you want to do three out of five? Yeah. So there's one Ash and Estes. I need another I piece most of paper. I people would, uh, would want that. Gina with Gun Deer. Oh, nice swap. He's got a huge life lead right now, so he doesn't really have to go in at all. He can just play it pretty safe. So one hit from... I wonder if he's... I if I were... Uh, yeah, he swaps out too. Nice cross, but that's smart. So that was really, one, I, one e bolt. Yeah, I don't gets think the roll catch. Back, to be That's two e bolts. Now that G9 has uh, three e bolts. I'm serious. And it should be over in a minute. He's going to travel in the rip in order to trade you. Yeah, there is nothing really that you can do in that situation. Alright, here we go. So round three, one and one, G9 and Gentle Flame. So Gentle is on bottom with the PKCS and G9 is the lap gun deer. Gun deer. Yeah, nice, so G9 uh, gets the poise, two hits. Yeah. G Gentle's running attack falls a little short. Yeah, that's dangerous for Gentle. Gets yeah. that, 348. And Gets again. that, 543. Wow. No, yeah, it's... Gentle's in trouble. Honest, Two hits. 60 damage on that. One hit. He's got to start playing it safer, though. Get your... Pin ready or whatever. That's one That's E bolt. One. Two. And this could be it for gentle. They trade. And there it is. Okay. That's two one G9 right now. So we're round four. 2-1, G9's favor, so it could be the last one. Yeah, let's see if... Uh... Nice. Uh, we did do a, a round adjustment, round length, so those adjustments have been reflected on the challenge, so uh, feel free to take a look at that. Okay, let's see. Uh, hopefully <laughs> Gentle starts... Uh loosening up a bit maybe <clears throat> excuse me going in for traits is definitely not going to um, make the best oh, damn, I'm cold right now. <laughs> it is kind of cold today yeah, gets that really. 571 gets that yeah. 571 getting out of that is uh, two hoots tough. There's one blue by G9. He's gonna fit it down here. No, Alberts are not easy uh, to punish on latency. Two misses by Gentle. 
He's gonna get that. Gentle's in big trouble here. Now comes the yeah, Corvian, there's there. the weapon art. And she I think we're just gonna have to go. These guys are chomping at the bit. So we're 3 1, uh, G9's favor, going best out of seven. So one purrs from G9. Yep. G9 gets the ring swap. Two purrs, G9. Three purrs, G9. And he's getting in. I wonder if he's going to be using uh, gun deers at all. It did him really well. Oh, yeah, there yeah, it is. He heard you. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Nadians. You have that, like, can with the string and you talk into it and it goes all the way to his house. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so multiple hits from Gentle Flame. So once again, G9 is the lap with Gun Deer and Gentle Flame is the... Morn Helm PKCS gets out of that. We almost got him there. One hit from Gentle. It's in danger territory now. Oh, now G9 this is gets where... that. 348 yeah. on the damage. There's one Ashen Estus. There's one Purrs from Gentle Flame. So we're three Ashen, one, uh, three. Sorry. One Ashen, three Purrs from G9, and one Purrs. From uh, General. Yeah, G9's got to. Uh, I mean, if he gets like that wake up on the fucking Gundir's charge, it's like pretty, you know, it could be even like really quick. Nothing on that. No roll catch either. And this is where it's dangerous. Nothing. So that's two Ashen by G9. Yeah, Two Ash and three purrs. Use the the full amount. One hit from uh, General. Two hits. Staggers, yeah. See what so still anybody's do. game. I mean, it could go either way. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he's getting ready to ring swap. Probably gonna get like red tier on. Nice. Gets that roll catch. There's one E bolt. That's gonna be death. Oh, no. Two E bolts, one hit. Walks out of that one. Ooh, dodges that. There's another one. Third E bolt. A computer or something behind. Alright, here we go. So this is round three, four, five, six. So we're three, two, G9's favor. So if G9 wins, it's over. And if Gentle wins, then we're going to do the last one. Yeah, I wonder if G9's going to bring up Corbian at all. But he's So Gentle gets the ring swap. So lots of throwing knives here, lots of... Gets that roll catch. Oh, Gotta get my pin ready. Gentle walks out of that, gets the roll catch. Yep. Lots of waggling by Gentle. He's looking for his chance. 99 damage on that blocked hit. What was that? I think Gentle's kind of adapted to uh, G9's. Isn't strategy that what you? Of, that's what you uh, said. Yeah, I did. I, I did think he would do that. Oh, Gets nice. that hit. Three. No, sorry. Two. 247 on the damage. There's yeah. the first. Blue by G9. Oh, these guys are everywhere. I mean, if G9 does get the weapon art, it's basically, you know, he can get the, the chain, the loop in. And then it's like pretty hard to come back from that. 
but Gentle's playing a lot smarter now. He's not really, he's not really being an idiot. Gets that there. three, yeah. three forty-eight. Yeah, he doesn't get both. That's uh, basically G and I got what he wanted there. And if he keeps, you know, if he connects with more than more than uh, one of those after, it's, it's pretty likely that he can win this. I do think G nine. They're both forward. playing very well. One hit, two hits. Doesn't get the roll catch. I think G9 will pull so this there's one, one purse. So G9's one ash and one purse. So two ash and one purse. That's regular ash and drinks here. Yeah. Oh, there's big damage. He baited that one out. What does he have? Wake up. Oh, Gets it again. It. And the point down. All right, here we go. Castle in the gym and nuts for gaming. So Castle's on the bottom with his S stock and board, and nuts is the PKCS with the lap helm. So round one, let's rock. So nuts gets two hits on Castle. Two hits from Castle. So, any Gales game, any Gales match. So they trade, so looks like 40 more damage from Nuts on that. Castle Rock, two R1s doesn't get it. Some pumps by Nuts here. Can't seem to break through the shield. So some strafing, two hits by Nuts, one hit from Castle. So there's the grass by Castle. <clears throat> Castle, great spacing, two hits there. Running attack, get the uh, nuts blocks it, 70 damage. Lots of excitement here. Two hits from nuts. Nuts goes around, one more. Castle's one shot. So Nuts brings out the Corvian, doesn't get the weapon art, gets the roll catch. That's gonna be the Nut. All right, here we go, round two. So Nuts is up 1-0. So Castle with the strafe backstab. Two hits from Nuts. Castle blocks those two, they trade. So Castle with more damage now. So gets the backstab. Gets that roll catch.
Castle with a running attack. Numerous blocks from Castle, numerous R1s from Nuts. No roll catches there. They trade, so it's like four, Castle's getting 40 more damage than Nuts on the trades. Castle gets the grass. Nuts blocks that running attack. There's another running attack. Nuts is in trouble. Definitely one shot. Castle's like two, three shot. There's the strafe. There's the running attack. They trade. All right, here we go, round three. We're one and one, Castle in the gym and Nuts for Gaming. So Castle is the S-Stock and board with Lightning Bundle and then Nuts is the PKCS Lap Helm. So round three, let's rock. So one hit from Castle. Nice gets the roll catch there. George just running attack from Nuts. They trade. So it looks like Nuts got more damage there that time by 40. That's the shield poke and a trade there. Castle's gonna get that grass. Nuts punishes the grass. 176 on the damage. Gorgeous running attack from Castle there. Got some pumps by Nuts. Two hits from Castle. Nuts could be in trouble here. He's definitely at least two hits out. There's the running attack. There's the running attack. Nuts is barely hanging on. 22 life, and it's over. All right, here we go. So we're 2-1 Castle's favor. Could be the last one. So once again, Castle is the S-Stock and board, and Nuts is the PKCS Lap Helm. So round four, they trade. Nuts gets the ring swap.
There's the guard break. Castle's in trouble. 611 on the repost. Castle's trying to waggle away, get that endurance back up. They trade, so Castle's like half life or a little bit, a little bit less than half life, I think. And Nuts is like three hits in. So Castle's like two, two or three hits. Nuts gets the roll catch, gets another one, gets another one. We're going to round five. All right, here we go. Round five, we're two and two, so going to be the last one. So Castle and Nuts. So numerous attacks, numerous blocks. There's the weapon art, haven't seen that yet. Three, there's another one. Three hits. Multiple attacks and blocks here. 19 damage on that uh, black rope firebomb. Castle gets the grass. They trade. Ca no, Castle poised him out of that weapon art. Not a trade. Castle backsteps out of that one. Sorry about the camera, guys. Two hits from Castle. There's the running attack, doesn't get it. One hit from Nuts, so Nuts is definitely in trouble here. Castle has the, the life lead, Castle with the grass. So there's the lightning bundle. Multiple hits, multiple blocks. Castle tries for roll catch, doesn't get it. I saw that. Uh, so Nuts has got out his Morian blade on the hip. Looks like.
No, I'm pretty sure Castle's on the East Coast. Whoever just said West Coast, if that's what you said. West Can- I'm pretty sure he's in East Canada, isn't he? I thought he was three hours ahead of me. I'm on the West Coast. Uh, United States, though. There's the hit. Wow, so Castle's gonna go full. Alright, here we go. Uh, what do we got? Assassin and Severn. So I'm too close. So Assassin is the PKCS and Severn is the caster. So sorry about having to roll out of there. I'm getting distracted by these things. So two hits from Severn. Get some ball stuff there. Let me get my pen and paper here because we're going to have a lot of stuff going on. One hit from Severn. Doesn't get that last hit. So Assassin's in trouble here. Sorry about the camera. Okay, there's one purse by Assassin. There's one Ashen Estes by Severn. Multiple hits on that homing soul mass. So Assassin's like two hits. Two hits from Assassin. So there's one purrs. Or that's the second purrs by Assassin there. There's the second Ashen by Severn. Gets that running attack. One hit from Assassin. Two hits. Severn's in trouble. And Assassin pulls it back. And I did it again. They might go with that. Yeah, looks like they're going. <laughs> Alright, they're going with that. That fake bomb on myself. Okay, so one purrs by Assassin. Two hits from Assassin. One hit from Assassin. Two hits from Servener. Two hits from Assassin. We're blasting through this one. Second purrs by... Assassin. Three hits from Severn. They trade. Looks like Assassin's one hit. Severn is two hits. No hits. Super close. Super fast. Alright, here we go. Round three. So we're 2-0 in Assassin's favor. So there's one purrs. Two hits from Severn. There's a purrs. So we got two purrs. I think he did three. I didn't see the first one. But I saw like the, the stuff. So what is that? Four. Multiple hits from Soul Mass from Severn. Two, one hit from Assassin. Super aggression there. He's got him in the corner. One hit. So there's... One Ashen. Maybe it was a poise cast. Gets that Soul Arrow. Gets it. Alright, here we go. Excited to see this. Taka and Edge Jaw. So Taka's on the bottom with his plow red hilted. And then Edge Jaw is the Herald PKCS with Ornstein Helm. So round one, let's rock. Let me get my pen and paper ready.
lots of waggling here trying to get these guys in the screen. One hit from Taka. So Aja gets the ring swap there. Two hits from Aja. Doesn't get the roll catch. Lots of moving around. These guys are using the whole area here. There's Taka's famous two pivot L2s. Two great dodges by Aja. One running attack from Taka. One hit from Aja. Gorgeous dodges by Edge Jaw here. There's a uh, Taka gets a running attack. Taka gets the L2, gets an L2. So super great round between these two. Two hits from Taka. That's gonna be Taka. That was good sportsmanship. All right, here we go, round two. So Taka's up 1-0. So once again, Taka with his plow red-hilted halberd and Edja with the herald PKCS. So round two, let's rock. So Taka gets a hit. So Edja gets the ring swap. They trade. They trade again. They trade again. So Taka's winning these trades by like 30, a little bit more than 30 damage. Edge gets the hit there. They trade again. Taka get or two hits from Edge Jaw. Taka's trying to get away, but not too far. There's another one. Taka's one hit. Nice running attack from Edge Jaw. Doesn't get it. Taka switches something. Fat rolls and Edge Jaw gets it. All right, there we go. So we're one and one. Taka and Edge Jaw. So going best three out of five. One hit, two hits, three hits, four hits. So already um, Taka is in trouble here. A couple of pumps from Edge Jaw. Gorgeous running attack, gets it. Another gorgeous running attack. Another running attack from Edge Jaw. Got the pumps going on here. There's a throwing knife. There's another one, one more, one more. Taka's one shot. He's probably like one or two throwing knife range. Taka's in trouble here. Edge Edge got a hit. He got hit. There's another one from Taka. He's trying to come back. So Ejah's got his uh, Black Knight shield out. Super intense here. Don't blink, you'll miss it. 
There's a running attack from Taka. There's that pivot, doesn't get it. There's the rolling throwing knife from Eja. Let's keep moving. All right, here we go. So we're round four, two and one, uh, Eja's favor. So once again, Eja is on the bottom. PKCS, Herald, and Taka is the plow red tilted. So two one could be the last one if Eja takes this. So we're just gonna have to see if Taka can bring it back. He's gonna have to win two to, to proceed forward. There's that gorgeous pivot, doesn't get him. Nice reaction by Eja. There's the grass. Taka gets some grass, 32 damage on the throwing knife. Taka throws some running attacks, doesn't get him. L2 doesn't get it. There's that beautiful running attack from Eja. Gets it, almost 200 on the damage. So there's that. Taka's trying to anticipate those running attacks, looks like. And just throw those L2s and try to get the hits. There's another one of those running attacks, right under 200, 197 damage. They trade, Taka gets uh, eight more damage on the trade. So these guys are moving around a lot. There's that prediction R2, nothing happens. There's another one. That's definitely gonna work to Taka's favor if he gets one of those. There's two L2s, doesn't get them. Nice running attack, doesn't get it. Lots of missed hits here, lots of dodges. Mm. Taka with another grass, Eja doesn't get the punish there. The Kitaka gets the L2, 258 on the damage. So still, any Gale's game could go either way. So Taka with a Lightning Bundle. Two hits from Eja, gets that roll catch. Taka's in trouble. Taka gets the L2, doesn't get the other one. A little bit short on that running attack. Gorgeous running attack by Taka. So Taka's a little bit less than Half-Life and Eja's like a little bit more than Half-Life. So uh, Eja's probably ahead by like a two hit lead. Estimation. Gorgeous running attack from Taka, trying to tie up that those life totals. There's a running attack from Eja. So 31 damage on the throwing knife. Taka's trying to get him in the corner. Nice dodge by Taka, gets out of there. There's the lightning bundle again. Bundles are not limited. So there's the double bundle. I was wondering if we were going to see it. Holy smokes, gang. Absolutely wow. Gorgeous running attack from Taka. So he has tied it up. So Taka's a little bit less life than Eja. Eja gets that running attack. Trying for some throwing knives. 
Taka with some pumps here. I heard a ring swap. Seven life left. 